up, guys? You're watching the presentation by me, Raiders the Great, about Jacques Cousteau. Okay, let's start this. In this truly film video presentation, you will learn about Jacques Cousteau's life story, notable work, and legacy. We will also include historical video footage, picture, and amazing commentary by me. Jacques-Yves Cousteau was born in June 11, 1910 in Saint-André-de-Coupzac, France. Although Cousteau was a sickly child who the doctor told not to participate in any strenuous activity, he learned to swim and soon developed a passionate love for the sea. In 1930, Cousteau entered the French Navy Academy, the Eco Nava, in Brest. He graduated three years later and then entered the French Navy. Even during the war, Cousteau turned his attention to the world below the sea. During World War II, Cousteau became a gunnery officer and was later awarded the prestigious Legion d'honneur for his work with French resistance, a military group fighting against the occupying German army. In 1942, he designed the Aquagon, an early underwater breathing device. Cousteau then helped remove mines from French seas left over from the war. One of these minesweepers would become Cousteau's research ship, the Calypso. During expeditions on the Calypso, Cousteau advanced knowledge up deep by gathering underwater flora and fauna, and by extensively photographing the underwater world, which is vaster than the surface above water. In 1955, the Calypso embarked on a 13,800 mile journey that was recorded by Cousteau for a film version of The Silent World. Partly due to his success on the film, Jacques Cousteau resigned from the Navy in 1957 with the rank of Lieutenant Commander to become Director of the Oceanographic Museum in Monaco. He filled the museum's aquarium with rare and unusual species gathered from his ocean expedition. Cousteau then dedicated himself in conservation of the resource in the ocean and protection of the environment. In April of 1961, Cousteau was awarded the National Geographic Gold Medal at a White House ceremony hosted by President John F. Kennedy. It was through Cousteau's television program, however, that his work captured the imagination of a worldwide audience. The highly rated Cousteau's first hour-long special landed Cousteau in a contract with the American Broadcasting Company, which resolved the series The Undersea World of Jacques Cousteau in 1968. The program ran for eight seasons and starred Jacques Cousteau, his son, Philippe, and Jean Michel, and sea creatures from around the globe. In order to raise public opinion against pollution, in 1975 he founded the Cousteau Society, an international non-profit organization with branches in several countries. Jean Cousteau died on June 25, 1997, at the age of 87. Although he is gone forever, but his message has never been more alive. If we go on the way we have, the fault is our greed, and if we are not willing to change, we will disappear from the face of the globe to be replaced by insect 